Ladies and gentlemen, the national anthem of Japan and the United States of America.
that. Please, This concludes the honors. It from are in historical rarity. Great care has been taken over four decades by political leaders on both sides of the Pacific to mold and create this gem of friendship, which is of such emotion between the United States and Japan. I have confidence in your judgment. By working together, any problem we face can be solved. Even the closest of friends have trade. Conversely, it is also clear that interruptions in international commerce result in stagnation and decline. We recognize the domestic political pressures. The system is in need of adjustment, yet the answer is not in restrictions, but in increased opportunities. So together, let us seek positive solutions. As we've learned, progress will not happen on its own. Tangible actions must be taken most encouraged by what appears to be a commitment to policies of domestic growth and the expansion of consumer demand in Japan, something we strongly believe services, accentuated with head-on and above-board competition, benefits everyone. We would like to see Japan, for example, open its markets more fully to trade and commerce. Many of our companies that spans the vast Pacific a bridge built by the hard work, commercial genius, and productive powers of our two peoples. We must strive to see that it is maintained today, free government and free economics complement one another and are the basis of our Pacific partnership. Today, Japan and the United States, with two of the world's most powerful economies, share heavy global responsibilities. Your nation has much to do with prosperity enjoyed throughout the world. The summit is an opportunity to look to the future. To ensure the peace and prosperity of the last 40 years is maintained and strengthened as we approach the new century, to continuing and expanding upon our security cooperation. I am pleased to have this opportunity to speak directly with Prime Minister Nakasone on the bilateral and international issues. It was 120 years ago since Commodore Perry first arrived on the shores of Japan. I welcome you in that spirit. Let us, too, cement the friendship happily commenced so that it will endure for many years. Prime Minister Nakasone, Mrs. Nakasone, we, we most sincerely welcome you. with my family to meet again with you and Mrs. Reagan. Since I assume the office of the Prime Minister of Japan, I have consistently made my utmost efforts to strengthen further many areas. The two countries are working closely together to solve the political and economic problems facing the world. Mr. President, the United States is continuing to strengthen solidarity among the Western nations, looking toward the upcoming summit meeting in Venice. I strongly hope that my visit will prove to be constructive bilateral relations develop on an unshakable foundation. I am deeply concerned the serious frictions on the trade and economic issues are on the rise between the same time, I will listen carefully to the views of the administration, the Congress, and the people of the United States. I have journeyed a group in your inaugural address in 1981. You said, 
We have every right to dream historic dreams. With energetic leadership, tribute to world peace and prosperity, I am determined to exert all my efforts to so that our two peoples can dream heroic dreams together, looking towards a bright future. Go, go! 